become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the history of the cambered squat bar, which was commonly used during the golden era for performing heavy squats. The story of the cambered bar technique of squatting is, like many, one of a fortunate accident. Of course, it took a visionary like powerlifting legend and pioneer Joseph Curtis Heese, that's right, the inventor of the 20 rep uh, breathing squat, or otherwise known as a 20 rep Heese squat, to come up with this marvelous piece of equipment. And I do say marvelous because if you have never performed cambered bar squats, then you're really missing out on some efficient leg workouts. I, like many other people, including of course the legends of the golden era of bodybuilding, find that squatting using the cambered bar is much easier, especially when squatting heavy, as the bar tends to sit really comfortably, really, really nicely on the upper back, and it doesn't roll off like the straight bar does. So um, today I'd like to share the story of how jo uh, Joseph Curtis Heese invented the cambered uh, squat bar and how he actually incorporated it into his 20 rep squat regime, essentially improving on the already extremely efficient 20 rep squat further. Enjoy. Now, as the story goes, Joseph Curtis Heese was about to do his workouts on squats and, and um, he found his bar, his actual squat bar, bent and it was bent because somebody had used it as a crowbar to um i guess they were fixing a car or something i've, I've read the story about how somebody was going to fix their ford up with it and they used the squat bar as a crowbar can you believe it <laughs> i'd kill the guy anyway um he basically just thought to hell with it it's leg day i'm going to use this bent bar anyway that's how tough this guy was that's how hell bent he was to do his squat workout and he started squatting with the bent bar and essentially the cambered bar was born. It was, it's a very, very interesting story. And as I like to call it, a fortunate accident. Now, as Joseph Curtis, he started performing his, his sets of squats. He actually realized that the cambered bar squat felt better, that the bar felt better on his back. It felt easier in his own words as it sat better across the shoulders. And he felt that there was a greater relief um, on his spine because there was less pressure because of the curvature. Um, basically, the whole weight is now distributed across your upper back. And if you think about it, um, therefore, there's going to be less rolling. If you've ever done heavy, heavy squats, some of you may find that the bar starts to roll down your back. And so he, he felt that this actually didn't happen. And especially in his own case, because Joseph Curtis Hees was known to perform squats with a rounded back. And so um, it really sat nice and snug on his upper back. And he just felt overall easier, uh, much more stable. And um, he, he therefore felt that he could incorporate it um, using the cambered bar on heavy squats. It was ideal for heavy squats. And he talked about it in the magazines, of course. And yeah, it started to be used and became quite popular. So if you've never used a cambered bar squat, and for example, wish to incorporate it into the 20 rep squat method, I would highly recommend it myself. Um, and especially when you're going heavy. I wouldn't necessarily say it's um, necessary when you're just starting out on the 20 rep squat method, but if you, uh, have, let's say you've reached your body weight, let's say you weigh 200 pounds and you are now squatting almost or at 200 pounds, I would say this is the time to start thinking about using the cambered bar squat because at heavy poundages, the squat will start rolling uh, off your back and uh, it will be much harder to stabilize. You can see, for example, in this awesome photo from, I believe, either the late 60s or early 70s, you've got Arnold here at Gold's Gym with Dave Draper using the cambered bar squat. And of course, these are heavy weights. We've got at least, what, four and a half plates there. So um, you can see how nice it sits across the whole back. Um, so it's, a, it's an excellent uh, tool, equipment to use when performing heavy squats. And um, as he says, because of the, I guess, much easier uh, squatting technique that you'll find, it, it just feels it just feels a lot more comfortable. Um, you, for example, for the first 10 reps of the 20 rep squat, um, you would only need to breathe once between each squat, uh, whereas in the last 10 reps, uh, so the 11th 
to the 20th rep, you'd want to start breathing uh, a lot more and therefore breathe between three to six deep breaths between each squat. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the 20 rep squat, highly recommend you get on my website, www.goldenerabookham.com and check out Rib Cage and Chest Development by Reg Park. I've published this book myself and it really does go into the great benefits of uh, the 20 rep squat. Reg Park, as I mentioned, used this program and in this ebook, I describe how he used it, how he used the 20 rep squat to expand his chest, that is expand his rib cage, and in combination with his um, chest development program, really built a phenomenal, a phenomenal chest, um, as you can see clearly in, in the many photos that are available online of Reg Park. During the 1950s, he had a massive transformation, and it is said that he put several inches on his rib cage and chest by using the 20 rep squat program, as well as um, combining it with things like the bench press, pullover, etc. You're going to find this all in my new ebook, Rib Cage and Chest Development. It's a great, great read. Check it out on my website. And if you're also interested in other programs for strength and bulk, please visit uh, my website again. You'll find Reg Park's original 5x5 routines. Both of these great titles and much more are available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Now, of course, with the uh, advent of the Cambridge Bar Squad, him writing the methods on the magazines, on the muscle mags during the silver and golden era, of course, the rest is history. The Cambridge Bar, as I showed you just earlier, was used at Gold's Gym and many other gyms since. And I have to admit, I haven't seen it in more recent gyms, although the Cambridge Bar has actually evolved into different kinds of, of, bar, of barbell equipment. And so um, essentially, it still is... Uh, I guess new new um, new equipment based on the cam uh, on the cambered bar squat is used in gyms nowadays. But um, the original cambered bar squat was an excellent method. And if your gym does have one, well, go ahead and use it, and you'll see what I mean. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm and leave me your comments. And again, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my research, please donate via PayPal. You can become a patron or visit my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com for out of print books and courses as well as self-written books. And please uh, email me if you, if you wish to collaborate. Once again, hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Bringing you more soon on Joseph Curtis Heath. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. Um, here's a quick announcement from Old School Labs, one of my sponsors. They're giving away 20 free products. Um, if you simply follow the rules as listed, you like the post on Instagram that I'll be actually putting in the description in, in the description of this video. You've got to like the post. So click on click on the link, like the post, follow Old School Labs and tag a friend and uh, you know give a comment you know give a comment and that'll count as an entry as you can read there the more comments you give the more um, uh, chances you have of winning because each comment counts as one entry uh, on, on top of that they are also have they also have a special offer uh, where, you, where you can get 20% off all their products on Amazon that's right on amazon.com you simply use the code start 2020 and uh, you can, you know, go through all the different products. Use that code to get 20% off. So either way, you're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to get rewarded with a 20% off discount, even if you don't get uh, one of these 20 free products in the giveaway. Okay, that's it. And uh, yeah, check it out. Old School Labs. Thanks. To take full advantage of my affiliation with NSP Nutrition and Old School Labs, please visit their respective websites and use codes GEB20 or Bookworm12 to get a discount off their selected products. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.